Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Hitman Agent 47 Movie Thoughts I was a little, more than a little, annoyed when the most recent trailer, I think it's still the most recent, gave away that Zachary Quinto was, you know, had armored skin under the, you know, yeah, arm, armor right under his skin that, you know, they reveal it relatively early on, but it's just, you know, the, the, I, I stand by my defense of Terminator Genesis for giving away, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say it here for anyone who hasn't watched that and, and care, but yeah, if you watch the trailers, there's a certain element of that that people felt was given away in a trailer. It was a major element that needed, you know, before it, I was wondering how that part was even going to play out in the movie. So, yeah, in this case, yeah, I think they should have saved that reveal for the movie, especially considering that they do a really great, I mean, you see Quinto there in the, you know, 47 comes in, shoots him several times. If he had only, you know, if we only later saw him come back, you know, that would have been such a great reveal. And instead, they have to blow it in the trailer that, you know, not only that he survived, but that that's how he survived. And you know, if, you, if you're if you watching the trailers closely, you already know that there are other scenes that he's in. But, yeah, you know, it's not... Yeah, but on the basic... You know, I think it's it's a perfectly fine idea. You know, the the DNA messing around in the games already has you know this giant hulking man and forty seven himself. So you know, stronger, faster, smarter than normal people. So yeah. Now the. Last minute notes. I like that only near the end did she start killing people at all. And for the most part, it was in trying to save her father's life. So there is that thing of, you know, I, th I think the, the movies, the themes would really have, you know, as I mentioned in the review of, excuse me, you know, free will versus is predetermination or determ predetermination, whatever. Let's go with that. You know that. Yeah, it it wouldn't have worked as well if she started out just shooting people as well. And you know, some some are going to cry foul at the fact that she does, you know, fairly comfortably near the end shoot people, but. It is genuinely, you know, she is this close to saving her father and these people are, you know, in the way of that. And, yeah. And, you know, we again get into the, you know, lies in the review. It's the, it's the Dexter thing. These are, you know, awful people. The, you know, if, if we just... You know, the, the, the basic idea of what the, and, and, you know, they, you know, they presumably know this, or at least, you know, they're, they're willing to kill people for a cause they don't know, which also doesn't exactly make them, yeah. They, they, you know, they're trying to create 
a, an army of clones, not of agents. And yeah, that's pretty horrible, both for, you know, for, for various ethical reasons, you know, using cloning in general, just comfortably just like that. And yeah, this, this army who exactly, you know, they're not even like a specific military, you know, this is, this is not like if it turned out that, you know, the U.S. government was trying to make clones for, no, 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 these are like, you know, yeah. I quite like how, <sighs> I forget his name again. I think part, one of his names was like Peter. So let's go with that. Peter keeps provoking people. Like he provokes John and he provokes was Antoine, you know, the, the CEO guy. That is really great. And just, yeah, he, he knows he, he really understands them and knows what to say to really, yeah. And the, the you know, torture scene was just, you know, you, trust me, you don't really want to try this stuff. You know, this is really going to destroy you. And, you know, just then, and it, like, you know, makes his face turn different color. What, what on earth was that in there? And... You know, the, he taunts him some more. I, I can't give him more. It might kill him. Give me this. You know, and he almost, you know, puts more of that stuff in him. And then, you know, Antoine comes in and stops him. And I didn't want to say this in the review because I didn't want to give away for those who didn't already know from trailers or whatever that Quinto was going to be playing a bad guy. But... As I say in that, his, his performance is great, and he really, you know, he walks away quite memorable against this, you know, cloned, you know, detached killer. You know, he basically, he does his Silar thing, and he is just, he's terrifying. He, I mean, this is, this is the reason that, you know, he became a big hit in the first place, was his performance as Silar. And, yeah, he remains absolutely horrifying. And, you know, once you add this thing of, you know, he's a clone too, and he's almost, you know, and how do you kill someone that you can't, you know, you can't get past the skin. So, yeah, that, that worked really, really well. And I also didn't feel like he was just doing Silar again. You know, it felt... You know, you, you could play clips of the two, you know, back to back, and you could still tell the difference, I would say. I, I kind of liked her, you know, the thing of, you know, she, she would take things apart. First, we see her having taken things apart in her little apartment. And she, oh, well, when I have trouble sleeping, when I can't sleep and I'm kind of anxious, I take things apart. And, there's, you know, of course, that's, you know that's a good survival skill to have, to be able to take them something apart. And, you know, she, she never says if she can put it back together again. It might just be him who put... No, wait, she does put the gun back together again the proper way. She's just not quite in time. Unless, of course, that is not at all forced just so they could have a hand-to-hand -hand fight instead of him using guns. <laughs> not at all. But I did quite like, you know, here, take this. Try not to take it apart. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the inhaler that a child was using for would not necessarily quite do the same as like him with, with the lung cancer. I feel like that was a stretch, but it was a good way to get, you know, both a transmitter you know, like straight up a microphone with the proper trend. It was, wasn't it a camera too? It's pretty, or, or maybe it just let him into their cams, but, but yeah, anyway. And eventually also a bomb, which he of course realized, you know, he knew, you know, he knew his own work. He knew 47 would, yeah. I really liked 
the bit with you know they're they're in the car and it's this thing of you know actually I don't remember if I said if I used these words in the review itself but you know the predetermination versus free will thing you know are you pre-programmed are you programmed to be a certain way and are you just that way or do you have a choice and you know thought that was well explored anyway the you know when when Peter is like you know, maybe you should try shooting him he has subdermal you know what was it aluminum shielding and he's just like they got that to work <laughs> and it's just of course yeah he knew about it it's just they couldn't get it to work back then and he's just like yep <laughs> I really liked the the you had no right bit where yeah you know a someone who had their genes altered speaking directly to the person who altered their genes and say you know what you did was wrong you should not have changed my DNA and that yeah it's in a movie that is otherwise this dumb it's it's great to have this really because it's absolutely correct you know that is why you you can't you don't get to tamper with this core you know because it's not the person doesn't have any like when when you're trying to educate someone you know by comparison if you're trying to tell a child you have to do this or that the child can still resist can you know choose to you know choose to find someone else to follow or you know not always but still there is agency there and that is not there when you're dealing with the yeah DNA and it's just it's it's DNA altering is a very ethically it's very very difficult to properly argue compellingly for from an ethical standpoint I liked the also the when when she talked about you know do you do you feel fear or love because you know and and saying you know either you know if you're human you do on some level feel those and she she says I think you do and the film doesn't really you know I don't know I guess in in for for as dumb movies go it's not the you know it's not necessarily sort of the most subtle but this thing of you know he didn't kill the guards at the embassy he he didn't even like particularly harm what was it mr. Sanders he he just knocked him out with with the gun you know the the two guards he you know fought briefly but he also clearly did not kill you know that yeah you know he taught and he knew that this guy had children and you know which is a nice little you know he he read up on this he knew that if he went into the embassy this is the guy he would meet and he knew that this is a person that he should not hurt you know this is a person who loves his family and who sh who sh he who who should get a chance to be with his family I really liked when she was hiding in the crowd and like you know the cameras you know it's 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 a really cleverly thought out and executed sequence because in you know in the games it's basically just well as long as I'm not seen going to the wrong place then you know that's fine but here people are already looking for them so she has to get you know and and she keeps finding ways to block the cameras view and direct the cameras in certain you know 
place and such. And then of course it still just barely fails. You gotta love that the actual the, the two of them, Katya and 47, actually remember seeing each other from way back then. You know. <laughs> what was that? Like at least a decade, decade and a half? Yeah, they just remember, oh hey, you were that guy. <laughs> and and they remember because he touched her, they, they joined hands. So, you know, it's, yeah, then he can transfer his memories to her. What's weird about that? I love how John, like, they, they talk, you know, <laughs> you know, at first it's just, oh, he's got, you know, metal skin, and then 47 actually kind of sort of explains it and says, oh, they, they inject it as a liquid and then it hardens. So he's Wolverine, is what you're telling me. He's, he's Wolverine sans claws and, you know, the, the senses stuff. But seriously, he's got an adamantium skeleton. That's, wow. And the, you know, the, the, I, I really like the whole thing with I'm better. You know, he, he has to... <laughs> really reminds me of another movie I watched very recently. You know, John has 47, and he's like, tell me that I'm better. Tell me that you're not as good of a clone as I am. And that's also how Peter provokes him. You... no, you don't understand what I'm saying. You are an inferior clone. And that's also very nice. That's not a spoiler. One of the games goes into something like that. And yeah, there is that sort of sense of jealousy and kind of thing. It was clever of John to, you know, at first he's just like, look, I'm not here to find your father. I'm not here to find this guy. I have to keep you safe. That's my, you know, that's my, that's my assignment. And then, you know, he's like, you know, okay, well, if you say so, you know, how, how can, you know, let, okay. I, I can tell you some of this stuff, you know, and he tells, and evidently all of that was actually true, and that's because he is that's very clever, because that was, of course, always what he was going to do, but he made it seem like it was her idea, like, you know, he, he kind of fought back, because if he just came to her and said, oh, hey, you're looking for that guy? Sure, um, I know this and this and this about him, she'd be like, there's something wrong here because she does, you know, she stays off the grid. He had to hide. And, you know, it also really helped him that 47 came. And I guess she was, he was just always going to wound her because he shoots and it seems like he's going to be shooting her even without. But, yeah, he was, so basically he was going to wound her, which would make her easier to stop and to, you know, yeah, to, to bring back to the factory where, you know, he can put her in front of a, you know, the, the engine of a, of a jet. The, the first time when, when she got out and he said that was too slow, I didn't know it was a test. Everything's a test. I thought that he was going to strap her up to, like we see in the trailers, where she's actually in front of one instead of on a chair in front of one. I don't know. Maybe it didn't test well, but yeah. But like I said in the review, I don't feel like... Like, there was that bit where they break in through the wall and 47 and her, like, you know, grab each other and dive out through a window. That wasn't in the movie, but that was the only thing from the action scenes. The rest, you know, some of the stuff looked like it was going to do something different than it did, but all of it, you could tell that it was... You know, it was just something else from that, but yeah.
that that part almost seems like it couldn't have been right before they start stealthily taking out the others and would it really be after i guess I, actually maybe yeah anyway the but but yeah you know john makes it seem like it's you know like he's just going along with it and she you know very quickly gets you know knows finds out almost exactly where he actually you know where peter actually is and yeah that was you know very very clever um yeah i really liked that you know this is this is at the point where the movie still feels like it's the Terminator, but with 47 as the T-800. John, you know, is driving away from the, you know, he's trying to keep Katya from 47. And he's like, okay, there's only one way we can be safe. And then, you know, oh, the U.S. Embassy. And 47 is like, you know, close and almost closing in. And... You know, it's, well, yeah, I guess he'd be safe in there. You know, 47 isn't going to just, you know, the, the moment he pulls the gun, especially, 47 isn't going to take on all that military. Even if, like, even if we didn't know about his, you know, the, the fact that he didn't want to kill anyone that he didn't, you know, that didn't deserve, basically. You know, is still he's not gonna take on, you know, all of the, you know, what is, is that? My Marines, maybe that guard a, you know, a U.S. Embassy. That's yeah, and so he goes up, and you know, instead of just going in, he fires, you know, bam into the air, and yeah that'll that'll get you into the the embassy and there you are protected by all yeah and then you know and it turns out not to be quite enough because 47 still comes right in there and yeah and and i love the you know that was also something that was worked really well in the trailers to just you know him walking in through the metal detector and you know opening the the jacket so you could see the the those glorious silver ballers and yeah you know he and and he's sitting there you know and they have that whole exchange and <laughs> of course you don't know, bring the weapons into the even if he is you know, chained to the table. Of course you don't bring the weapons into the interrogation room. It's purely for that absurd action scene where he, you know, knocks up. And I love, because he just said, you know, he went over, oh, well, that, and hair trigger. So, yeah, if he knocks the table, yeah, it's kind of fire if it has a hair trigger, especially if it has a hair trigger. And, yeah. And it is indeed the R93 plaster, so that's awesome. You know, that's, yeah. Although he, if they make more of these, he should probably at some point be running around with the WA2000, but yeah. Yeah. And I love how at the end of that, you know, he he's running off. Yeah, I think Marine uniform. And you know, he's running off. And then one of the, the guys in just regular like military like what's it called? Camo, you know, he he spots him and he's like, Why is he carrying an R ninety three, you know, on his back? And he's like, Okay, grab him. And that and, and that was kind of cut slightly differently from what we see in the trailer. It worked quite well. It was, you know, I liked how she's like taking pills for the anxiety, and he's like, you know, stop taking the pills. This is this is a tool. This is not, you know, and it's, yeah, it is this thing of, you know, to 
to him it is just the way it should be because he's always been this way and it's and and he doesn't try to fit into the rest of the world so it doesn't he detaches himself like he says in this you know in this line of work love can be dangerous so you know and to her it is this debilitating condition that she really wishes she could be rid of and also you know when she meets her father and their i i like the the you know like brother and sister thing that was, that was great I quite liked the everything relating to the I'm not a car person and I'm not trying to like I'm not gonna say the the brand name how about that when they're driving around especially when you know when they're in the car park and then when they get out into the city itself, you know, yeah, that is just glorious. You know, with the, the guys on motorcycles in the car park. And he's like, he uses the car like a blunt instrument. So he's like smacking one of them in the, you know, so to, to knock him off the bike and knock him into the, you know, and he you know, like breaks so the guy goes tumbling over and hits the top, you know, and bounces off and yeah, the very small, nice creative ones and then, you know, out into the city and, you know, one after the other and just, he cannot possibly get, you know, he can't drive away from there and so he leaves the car and starts you know, taking them out of the sky, and like there's one guy sliding down, and he cuts through, and you know, and they're falling out of the sky, landing on other people's cars. You know, lots of mayhem is always good in an action movie, and the the bit at the end with the the helicopters. For the longest time, I really thought that. 47 was in the helicopter or at least in an in a, heli a helicopter and Then there at the end, you know, he called them, you know, the, the fireman got here too fast He called them before the helicopter crashed and then you know They return to the office and he's sitting there just waiting for them, you know, and shoots and the you know Quinto does the Yeah, I shouldn't spoil that, but but yeah, you know, grabs the bullet, you know, stops it with the with the hand, and you know, the the movie could have ended right there, but of course we got ahead. Lost my notes. <laughs> Didn't need them anymore, so that's okay. You know, we needed to have a little bit more action in there. So yeah. The the and their fight in there was also great. How, you know, the the table turns on so it's like lighting them as they're fighting each other and you know the the exposed wire what was your mistake i don't make mistakes you know and that's also he's he's too cocky that was you know 47 you know what was your mistake what 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 went wrong here you know always always analyzing always you know there's there's something you know, she did something, you know, and she gets really annoyed with him for you. I'm, I'm gonna, I am gonna kill you when this is over. And, you know, I, I don't make mistakes. You wanted to make sure that you were better than me, you know, and he, yeah, just, you know, electrocutes him. And then the mid credits, we see that he survived that. That is freaking insane. I, <laughs> If they make a sequel and bring him back, that could be really, really awesome. It's like, how do you even kill? Honestly, I did think that maybe 
he would like thrown through the window or something. But of course, if that happened, then he couldn't have come back, and you know, so they electrocuted him instead. But that's still a pretty pretty cool way to yeah. And then the you have the but but yeah the the helicopter you know yeah he so he came in and as one of the firemen and we see him in there in the you know and talking through the Mr. Chairman I don't think I have to introduce myself <laughs> and the you know and I, I like the the bit near the end also with you know Diana calling 47 confirmation on you know the the target Antoine is dead you know and what about the other target you know so obviously he was you know he was hired to kill her too because of the whole clone thing you know Peter wasn't really a danger for creating more clones it wasn't so much that they needed to get rid of him but as long as the CEO was alive, he was going to keep trying to get her and through her clones and so killing both of them. So he does still, you know, go against her wishes on that. And, and to briefly, I was so glad we actually got a 48. I, I really, I was like, you know, the moment that Diana said, you know, put me in touch with with the asset and calling and and we just see the 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 you know what what you know we have no idea who this guy is but we just you know it's it's that familiar shot of the you know you've got the the rubber duck in there and you've got the 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 toaster which has been you know turned on there in the bathtub and the guy picks it, and it's clearly still Rupert Friend, and I'm like, 48, really? And it just, you know, and then, you know, there's there's an entire army coming up right now, and then she's, no, there's only one. And, you know, you see the barcode, 48, and he, Diana sends her regards, and they shoot him, that was, that was awesome. I'm really glad, I, they, they managed to fit that in there with, it. yeah, that, and the, you know, which again, I mean, if they do make another one, they can bring Quinto back. There may well be more 48s out there, or, you know, or maybe that was the only 48, you know. And the, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to go into it for, you know, those who know the games, no. Yeah. Well, for, for those who have no idea what I'm talking about, in the games, there is, there is more than one 48. And, you know, the, the basic idea is, you know, if there had been more than one 47, then there would be more 47s. It was just he was the 47 clone. And at the time, that was, you know, he was the desired outcome. But then with the 48s, there is more of a... There's more than one. Let's let's limit it at that. And the the basic... Yeah, the the I should Yeah, ba basically, you know, there could be more than, you know, maybe there's more than 148 in, you know, if this gets a sequel or whatever. Another option is, of course, that there could be more, you know, maybe a 49, you know, and apparently she's 90. I, I really liked how the, the name Katja Dick, and it's it's true from what I remember of French that that, you know, that that's 90 in French. And that, yeah, ouch, she does not have a name either. But, yeah, and, the, and, and that's, of course, you know, that's something she's heard, she's been called, and she didn't know at the time that that was French for 90. Yeah. I was getting to the whole helicopter thing. Yes, I... 
and just to briefly say, you know, compared to the games, I don't mind what they did with John in, excuse me, in this, I'm not really going to, excuse me, people who know the games will know what he's like there. I'm, I'm not going to spoil the games. I'm not a big fan of him in the games, and I thought this was fine, and I mean, if, if you want to get completely technical, if you want to be like, well, that's not John Smith, well, maybe that really is. Maybe they called him John Smith. You know, I mean, he, yeah, then, you know, he says, you know, that is that really your real name? And, you know, I don't really remember what he said his, his real name was, but, you know, then it's like, you know, oh, I'm so glad you didn't say 48 or, or 46. No, that's another guy. As, as, yeah, but but yeah, you know, probably he is. I mean, yeah, they they say as much in the movie. That's not John Smith. You know, it's it's a you know, it's it's a code name almost sort of. And yeah, but yeah, I'm not. I am not upset that we did not get that buffoon wearing the American flag as underpants. I am not. But the, yeah, and, and Diana, you know, they, I didn't, you know, I, I don't really have any problem with how they depicted her here. Didn't particularly have a problem with it in the first either, but yeah, I thought it was perfectly fine here. Anyway, the helicopters. I, I quite like that, you know, at the very end, Peter's still, you know, he's willing to kill himself to keep his, his daughter safe. I do think that's a bit like every parent is willing to die to, to protect their, their, you know, children. And I, I think Grandpa Simpson would, would disagree. And I'm also just like, you know, that you're, you're going to lead a lot of spoiled children to... to he committed suicide for his kid, and I don't even get a new Xbox, you know, so, so, yeah. <laughs> but those kids would probably already be saying stuff like that if they're going to after this. Yeah, the, the, I, I really like that, you know, I, it, it genuinely, you felt like, oh no, what now? They can't follow that, and... It, yeah, I, I got it. It got to me. I was like, no, now she can't get, you know, how, how will she get? And, and I, for a second, thought they might even let the, the CEO get away or something. But, you know, he, he snuck the, the, the bomb on there with the, yeah. And it's a good thing, you know... <laughs> The, the the fact that he had cancer both allowed him to be let in with with the thing without them like although they they just left everything he had on there did, did they scan any of it I mean what if what if one of those coins had been some kind of weapon or something as well but yeah you know anyway the the other helicopter the <laughs> you know you you really you think that he's the one controlling the helicopter, and then you see her wake up, and it's like remote operated helicopter, and she's tied up just like she was earlier, and she's like, "I am going to kill you when this is over," and she, like, because then he doesn't have to talk her into it, and then he just, you know, it has a little bit of the the same, you know, in the 07 film, there's also this thing of he keeps kind of mistreating or throwing around the, the the woman. In that, it got really uncomfortable, even though, you know, she tried to, like, play it up and, you know, yeah, there, there was that, you know, bit with, you know, I oh, I could, you know, I could chloroform you with that. Would you like that better? And she's like, oh, do we have time for foreplay? You know, but... In this, it genuinely, like, he really, 
he really shouldn't have done some things he did to her. But at the end of the day, he didn't put her in a situation she couldn't get out of. He never, you know, I mean, if, you know, if there is anything you could say that, it, you know, that it, it kind of sucked that it, she ended up losing her father. Although, to be fair, it's not like he was stalling or something. It was just there were that many guys to shoot up there. So, yeah. But, yeah, you know, she wakes up and controls it in there and just crashes the thing. And I, that is something I really wish they hadn't given away in the trailers because the moment I saw that, I knew that's the climax. I mean, that's they're not gonna do that and then like top it or something. That's just no, no, no. That's the climax. Why are you showing it to us already? I mean, it's not the entire climax, but it's like a big, you know, a huge moment in the climax. If if it had just shown us, you know, people shooting each other, you know. I mean, you, there, there are clips in the trailers of just people fighting or shooting each other. And you don't know exactly when they're going to be in the film, so those are more acceptable. But something like that, it's so obviously, you know, that's the climax. That's a big part of the climax. But, yeah, you know, she actually crashes and gets out. And again, just really stealthily takes, you know, only, only at the very end does she at all use guns and you know i also like the the bit with you know he see he notices the kid and and the you know the inhaler and you know he walks away with the inhaler and she's like where did you get that i traded it traded with what your knife <laughs> so in that short time he took back the knife he gave her without her noticing even though she's all like touch you know, scared of being touched and, you know, super sensory, you know, and he gave it to the kid without the parents noticing. And, and you see the kid like, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Screw my lungs. This is awesome. You know, and yeah, that was, that was really good. And the, I suppose that covers the helicopters. Thomas Kretschmann does not have good luck getting into helicopters that are taking off from the top of buildings. And let's see, are there other action scenes that I wanted to talk about? I suppose that covers it. I did briefly want to talk about it. I know I I shouldn't enjoy the 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 more brutal deaths, but I do, and I quite like you know there's that guy that falls into the like I I don't even know it's it's in the factory so I don't know what it is but it like chews him up or something just blood and you know. She shoots, and then, oh, you missed. No, she didn't. And the, the, you know, glass breaks, and they get sucked into the, the jet engine explodes. And, you know, the guys that, you know, are standing under the, the thing and then press, you know, cut in half. And, you know, he pulls off part of, you know, is it like plane maybe and like just use it to saw the guy just yeah and the and and in the the opening when you know the there's the the stairwell and you know he's shooting people and people you know some of them fall and like you know smack against the the railing and the that's fun and i know i shouldn't enjoy when I saw in the trailers that we had this Russian -y old guy that was big, a big part of the, you know, yeah, that, that people were trying to get him, I got serious die hard, you know, a good day to die hard flashbacks. But I'm, I'm glad that the movie 
at you know at no point really gets anything like that. Freaking John Moore. Yeah, keep John Moore away from good video games. You know, give. I could see Max Payne working out. Just give it to, give it to this guy, Alexander Bach or something. I could, I could totally see this guy doing a good job with. Well, okay, maybe not, not that exactly, but the Max Payne. See, Max Payne. Now there's a story. There's a story. You just. Don't try to tell the whole first game story all at once. Cut parts of it out and make it logical what parts you cut out. And then, you know, don't shoehorn in Mona Sachs if you can't find an organic reason to include her. And don't hire John Moore. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise. The links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.